They say the one thing you should never do is give the internet the option to give you physical and emotional pain. When presented with these options, they always choose to do so. And I recently made the mistake of giving them those options. High F completing the last Cyberpunk challenge, I decided I would ask the viewers what they wanted to see next. And that's where I proceeded to shoot myself right in the foot. I was trying to take a break from my edge runner ways, but they dragged me kicking and screaming right back into Night City. I put out a poll for the next challenge, and I decided to put a joke option, Cyberpunk, but every kill makes you slower, which was a mirror of the previous challenge. Well, lo and behold, of course they chose that option. Well, here it goes. Can I beat Cyberpunk 2077 before time spirals out of control again? Well, enough of my whinging. I guess uh, now we go through the rules. They're pretty familiar rules. Playing on very hard and every kill or incapacitation slows time by 0.0003%. We will also be aiming for the Pan Am ending this time, since we've finally done them all. Well, except the ending at all option block. It was on the table, but I thought it was a cop out. I really wish I had chosen it though. <laughs> I also decided to keep Eli on our time bending adventure. He seems to be doing a pretty good job so far. I'm sure it won't be too bad for him. So without further ado, it's time to begin the monologue. I I'm not gonna be doing that voice the whole time. I, I, I promise. P please don't leave. If you've watched my other videos, you've heard me recount the plot of this game so many times. So you know how it's gonna go and uh, jokes I'm gonna make because I'm very consistent. <clears throat> well, our story begins with our newly minted Netrunner, V. This time I thought since we were getting ever slower that maybe a Netrunner build would be a good idea. And for once, it, it actually worked in our favor. We hustle our way through a few gang members in order to make a few eddies and to churn out that sweet, sweet experience. All right, I got my hood ornament. Yeehaw! Oh! Now I wanted to avoid indiscriminately murdering because, well, we have a kill budget this time. Unlike the fast challenge, there is an upper limit to how many kills we can get before the game is unplayable. So I quickly go through the motions of setting up the big heist per usual. Things don't get too bad slow wise, which is a blessing, but makes me fear for the future. Oh Jesus Christ, what is that? Blam. Post heist, Johnny and I take some time getting to know each other again. I swear I'll slow down on the speed jokes this time and keep them to a minimum. Oh no, I just made two. Damn it. Much like last time, there isn't much need for side activities, nor do I really want things slowing me down. First on the docket is dealing with the Evelyn situation, which I wanted to get through quickly and quietly. I tiptoe like a mouse, since I don't want to cause a scene or become a snail by dealing with the claws. Okay, that's cool. What was that? Judy and I go to our favorite spot. I mean, we've been there eight times, so we must enjoy it. Again, going with the stealth route to avoid speed bumps later. Now, this plan doesn't go perfectly, but we get there without much issue. I'll be with you in 30 years. I'm just reloading. Bonk! Don't worry, Evelyn. We'll get you medical attention as fast as possible. At this point, conversations are becoming quite awkward due to the timing changes, huh? We then need to make some money to meet with Rogue, so we unfortunately need to get our hands dirty. Hi well, slow motion at least makes fist fighting easier. Now things are starting to get a little rough speed wise. At this point, I could definitely feel my sanity slipping away. Yeehaw! I decided to make some money doing the Voodoo Boys quest line, and that was definitely a mistake. Animals like to prey on slower creatures, and boy, am I an easy meal. So there I was, sitting on my own legs, as you can see, because this is a very weird crab walk. I slowly approached the GIM. I knew that inside there were many animals, and they would be nothing but trouble. One kill of said animals would be enough to bring me over the edge, so slow that I can possibly exist. Yeah! 
Oh, Jesus Christ. I do not want what you're selling. I came to the mall for a nice new game, but now I've come for death. I don't want to be skull. Just come back later. Their boss is the real challenge of this quest line because she may be slow, but I am slower and she can close the gap much faster. This isn't fair! <laughs> I do manage to outwit her with my hacking skills and a bench. A very sturdy bench. She doesn't know what to do. She's like, these, these couches, they're too powerful. Oh, that instantly destroys that. Huh. Oh, I got her hammer. Hiya! <laughs> you okay? Ma'am, are you okay? Oh no! It's the couch of invincibility! Departing from my beloved bench, I don't give Netwatch the chance to answer, and I add him to my slow count. The dive into Johnny's memories is super trying, and I lost a lot of hair along the way. Is this, how long does this elevator take, Thompson? Oh, thank God. Oh, we prevail and meet with Alt. Even though I hate the Voodoo Boys, I have to spare them because I hate being slow and I turtle my way out of there. We bribe our way to a visit with Pan Am and her wonderful vehicle. I was kind of dreading this part because there's a lot of killing and because this time we're going with the Pan Am ending, we got to do the den again. Well, it can't be helped. Let the waves of time magic wash over me. With Pan Am appeased and a few more notches in our time belt, it's on to Hellman. Helm. This section proved extremely trying. See, I recently did some work on a super hot mod for this game. Shameless plug. And I forgot to disable part of it. The consequences of this mistake means it makes it even slower and harder for poor Eli than it needed to be. I resorted to making up stories to pass the time and keep myself awake. Well, uh, it looks like it's time for a story in the desert. There once was a man. His name? Henry. I do manage to sneak in to secure Hellman, thus avoiding significant death, destruction, and molasses. Talk more now becomes the next drain on my sanity. If this were a Lovecraft game, I would be worshipping Cthulhu by now. To step back a minute and do the math, I know I have three missions coming up that require me to kill people. So at this point, I really can't afford to kill any more people than necessary. That man looks enticing. Should I give him a little pick-me-up? Oh boy, we'll give him a little bit, give that guy a little bit, ooh. Oh no, they're not having it, they're not having it. Oh no! They're all dead, every one of them. Burn. Ooh, yeah. Sorry, the bloodlust comes out when I lose my sanity and I'm bored. Any who's will be, I do manage to sneak into Hanako's float and install a virus without killing anyone. Bum. Bum 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 boodaloo. After that, I flex my stealth muscles to rescue Saul. Slide. Doing good. Only killing a single person. What's one more? I take Saul through this secret exit. And, well, it's a slow time through the pipe and a long time in an abandoned building. With that out of the way, it's time to help Takamura with the kidnapping. Hey, pal. Say goodnight. Shit. I run into some issues sneaking to kill the snipers. And let's just say I now have my membership to the Turtle Club. Oh, shit, that's my eyeballs. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Plus, I decided to look good for Pan Am and use her weapon. And it's the world's slowest gun, so, uh, yeah. As you can see, not great. Let me reload real quick. I'm a nice guy, but I will murder you. There we go. Oh, sh. 
Oba. Oh, shit. not like fish. Yes. First try, baby. I take care of Oda by throwing some long fuse grenades, and then I must sacrifice Takamura to anti Hermes. Or would it be Antimus? No, that sounds wrong. Listen, doing this has caused me great pain, but you will see it was worth it in the end. M maybe. I guess it makes an entertaining video. The cost of my dwindling sanity. Next, we need to help upgrade Pan Am with tank powers, also known as just stealing a tank. This is just like a, I feel like I'm old, like a child again, just waiting in the car. Mom, take me to Walmart. Want to buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards? This is another section where killing is required. So leisurely strolls, here we come. I started to get especially concerned at this point. I wasn't sure we'd be able to beat the game before it became unplayable. I've always been fond of trains. I love trains so much. Yeah. Trains. They're the best. After a long time later, we secure the tank and take it for a slow drive to get a few more kills. Sorry. You know, all this time is really desensitizing me to seeing them as people. It's probably fine. Now the tables are set and the characters are in place. It's time to take on the finale as a sloth. So our date with Hanako goes pretty well. She buys us a drink, eventually t tells us about her brother, and I lose a few more sanity points. It's raining though, Johnny. I'm gonna get wet. I get my drink in a doggy bag, and I make a detour to see Vic. It gives me that long-winded explanation about, oh, you're dying. Go take care of it now, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know, thanks. I get Pan Am to pick me up, and we take an eternity celebrating with the Aldecaldos before the big event. This part was extremely painful and took so long to complete. Not because of the deaths, just due to the state of the game. Well, whose fault is that? All the circuitry is dead. What gave it away, Pan Am? Was it the car crashing into us? The explosions? Don't worry, guys. I got this. When this gun's ready to fire, I'm going to take out so many drones. Oh, they blew it up. Yeehaw! Trouble's my middle name. I'm coming, guys. Just give me a minute. Hell yeah. Now I'm up here. Thanks, pal. We're going. Hey, pal. Say hello to my little friend. Shooting you without having my gun pointed at you. Grenade, 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 grenade. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Mama Sita. Whoa, that's a pallet volcano. We finally get into Arasaka Tower after a long game of Parcheesi between Pan Am and I. I mean, you got to do something while you're waiting for, you know, the slowest tank in the world. We're going to be here a while, Pan Am, I think. Got to uh, want to play Parcheesi again? I was beating your ass last time, but maybe maybe this is the day. I got the board. It's right right here. It's in this new jacket you got me. Oh, I'm going to be I'm going to be red. I'm going to be red though. Remember, that's my favorite. <laughs> Oh no, it's so dramatic. Uh, oh no, there's a pipe falling. 
Uh, oh, shit. everything's falling down. Once inside the tower, I know we can't avoid any more kills because, well, Alt's gonna do that for us. Th thanks, Alt. I then trudge my way to Mr. Smasher. Honestly, he wasn't even that bad. It just took forever. You got this, Saul. Kick his f***ing ass. Shoot him in the face. Ooh, you didn't run fast enough, Adam. Hacking is just so OP at this point that it's just a lengthy fight I have to wait for my RAM to recharge. Should have downloaded more. As Smasher's body slowly collapses to the ground, I make a 20 minute walk to Mikoshi. The waters of Mikoshi slowly surround me and I feel my sanity finally returning. That ending, it really got me. Like I hate sitting around and doing nothing and that was really a lot of this, just waiting and waiting and waiting. At the end of the run, we'd slowed time to about 20% of its normal speed, which was overwhelmingly stagnant. I hope you guys enjoyed this run, and thank you all for your patience on this challenge. I learned a very valuable lesson here. My suffering is so delicious, and making jokes will cost me everything. Like I said, this will probably be the last Cyberpunk video for a while until Phantom Liberty comes out. And then, well, we got a mess of things to do. But until then, we'll be taking a vacation from Night City. I hope to see you guys soon, and...